In this video, I'm going to give you 10 of the best high ticket affiliate programs that are out right now and two mistakes that new affiliate marketers make when starting high ticket commission sales. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin and welcome to my channel where I help you find success online. Be sure to like, subscribe and ring the bell to learn different tips and tricks to how to find success and start making money online. All right, so one of the biggest questions, comments, concerns when it comes to affiliate marketing and making money online is high ticket versus low ticket. So I'm just going to spend a couple minutes talking about high ticket versus low ticket. What's the difference? What's the right route for you and give you 10 of the best high ticket affiliate programs that are out right now. Do you want to learn how to start and grow a successful online business? If the answer is yes, click the first link in the description to learn my number one recommended course for starting a successful online business today. Just for signing up at the link below, you will receive the bonuses you see on your screen. All right, so first and foremost, what is high ticket affiliate marketing? I believe high ticket affiliate marketing is when a commission is paid out of $150 or more for recommending a product or service. So this number can be a little bit different depending on who you talk to, but in general, $150 or more is really a good barometer to go with when you're thinking about high ticket affiliate marketing and high ticket commissions. So what's the difference between high ticket and low ticket? Again, $150 or more versus $150 or less or, or $149 and less. In, in my opinion, a product that is $200 or less, which usually falls in the low ticket range, is more of an impulse buy. They can just go out, they see a couple, watch a couple videos, uh, they may look at a review or two online, and then they go and decide it to purchase it. They don't have to consult with their significant other. They don't have to ask friends and family usually. Uh, they just go out and buy. Now obviously this number is going to change depending on the circumstance, how much money the person makes, um, you know, income, household income, all of that good stuff. But in general with, with developed or first world countries, $200 and fewer people are just going to go out and buy. If it's over $200, usually and again this is going to vary depending on the person they need to consult with their significant other they need to uh, do a lot more reviews uh, they need to do comparisons this versus that uh, what's best uh, and they're looking actually for reasons to not purchase the product so you as a content creator will probably create the same amount of of content but you'll have to realize that if they're looking into a high ticket product or service, they're going to spend a little bit more time doing the research. So it's going to be very important that you do some of the things that I mentioned coming up. Uh, so that's really the big difference between high and low. Low ticket, impulse buy, people are going to purchase the product only looking at one or two videos. High ticket, someone's going to definitely need to think about it. They're going to need to sleep on it. So just think about when you when you go and make a purchase, if it's like a candy bar, okay, I'll buy the candy bar because it's at the grocery store, it's at the checkout lane, I'm just gonna run and, and buy it. But when it comes to a car, you've gotta do comparisons. Am I gonna buy this Camaro? I'm gonna buy the Corvette. Am I gonna buy a Yukon Denali? And so you're spending a lot of time thinking about it. That's, that's the easiest way to think about it when you are comparing high versus low. So now let's talk about if you should promote high or low ticket. Now, the reason why people recommend promoting high ticket products or, or services is because it's, in essence, it's easier to get to $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month is essentially the kind of like the, the buzzword or the buzz term when it comes to affiliate marketing. If you are selling a product that pays you a commission of $1,000 per sale, you only need 10 sales. Consequently, if you are paying, uh, if you're recommending a product or service that pays $100 per sale, you're going to need a lot more sales. And so it's easier to meet your goals. Um, in addition, as I mentioned, there are less sales needed. And then you can also take apart, take advantage of two tier marketing systems. Now, basically what a two tier marketing system is, is let's say you're marketing a product like ClickFunnels and then you recommend a, that product to someone and then they start recommending the product. You actually get paid a commission if the person directly beneath you is using ClickFunnels and if they get other people to use and recommend ClickFunnels. So that's kind of the two tier system. In general, again, if you're thinking about it, you are probably going to create the same amount of content. You're just gonna to need to go in and understand that the mentality is probably going to be different. And so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do these two things that I mentioned in just a moment. But again, why should I not promote high ticket? Because you probably are going to need more traffic. Uh, quite honestly, in order to uh, get more people, your conversions are probably going to be lower. Let's say if you're promoting a, a product that's $10, you can probably um, convert 
50% of the time. Whereas if you are promoting a product that costs $5,000, you're probably gonna com convert maybe two or 3% of the time. Thus, you're gonna need more traffic. You're gonna need to connect with them at a lower level. Um, you can't just say, hey, I recommend this product. It's $19.95, go check it out and buy it. You are going to need to build a connection, get them to know, like, and trust you, and really understand that you are here for them and, and you can lean on them or they can lean on you if they have any questions, comments, or concerns. Also with high ticket affiliate marketing, just know that it may take a little bit longer for the, the sales to come through. A uh, low ticket, you can kind of like um, launch jack where you recommend a product that's 20 bucks, people see it, you get them all excited, the, the product comes out on Tuesday or the next day and they buy it right away. If you are promoting a, a $5,000 product and your commission's $1,000, it's going to take a little bit longer for them to convert and, and make that decision because they're consulting people. They're actually kind of finding reasons to talk themselves out of it. They're talking to their wife, they're talking to their, their husband, wife, girlfriend, uh, uncle, whomever, and they're really looking for reasons to either do it or not do it. Uh, next, uh, an, uh, the next common question that comes up is, can I promote both high ticket and low ticket? And I would say with a resounding yes. You should definitely do a, a, con uh, a, a product mix once you get comfortable and you have a firm understanding of affiliate marketing. I wouldn't necessarily promote them both at the same time. What I would do is, let's say I was promoting uh, web hosting. Uh, for example, let's say Bluehost. Bluehost has a $1,000 uh, affiliate commission. I'd promote the Bluehost and then maybe some top WordPress themes that would go along with it. I would promote or recommend some premium plugins that are going to help or support or it could be like a, a an add-on, a feature add to the, blue, the, the web hosting. So definitely, uh, you can definitely promote both, but I would recommend probably not I would recommend not promoting them both at the same time. All right, so here are the two most common mistakes that will prevent you from finding success when you are promoting or attempting to promote high ticket items. Number one, number one is not buying, trying, or testing the product. Now, you definitely wanna get a hands-on overview experience of the product or service that you're recommending so that you can talk to the strengths and weaknesses. People will know, like, and trust you better if you are able to talk about both the strengths and the weaknesses of the product. For example, if I, again, was recommending Bluehost, I would say it works well with WordPress. However, I do have some issues with the customer service. The customer service isn't the greatest, but you can always reach out to me if you have questions because I've been through the ringer before or check out some of my other videos where I actually address some of the customer service issues that I've had. So that's a good way to build a connection with someone because you are talking about some of the limitations, but then you are solving that problem for them. You are solving the problem before they even realize that they have that problem. And that's, that's what your goal should be. You should be looking around the corner, so to speak, and figure out what questions or comments or concerns that your customer is having so that you can answer them before that they run into it. So that's number one, not testing, trying, or buying the product that you're recommending. Number two is not having email marketing. Because you are recommending or promoting a product that is very expensive, relatively expensive we'll say, uh, because you're recommending a product that's relatively expensive, people aren't going to just click the link and buy. You are going to want to get them to your email on your email list and then follow up with them daily or every few days and just continue to provide value. Uh, for example, if you, let's say you get on my email list, I may send you an email in a few days, 10 things that you need to know about your web hosting provider or 10 facts about web hosting you wish you knew. You wanna just continue to provide additional value over a, a span of you know 10 days a week, a month, so that you are building up that know, like, and trust factor so that they feel more comfortable making that purchase through you. And that's going to be key to email marketing will be to continue to build value and make it a irresistible offer like their life will not be complete until they have this product or service that you're recommending. Those are the two issues um, when people fail to make money with high ticket affiliate offer or high ticket commissions. Again, it is not trying buying or testing the product. And number two is not having email marketing. All right, so let's quickly talk about the 10 affiliate marketing programs in my mind that have the best high ticket commission structure. Number one is ClickFunnels. If you've watched any of my other videos, I talk about ClickFunnels a lot. The reason why I like ClickFunnels is it actually provides reoccurring commission. Now, most people think ClickFunnels is just for email marketing, maybe a landing page and autoresponder. It does so much more than that. You can create membership sites. You can actually create an entire website. You can sell a digital product or service. You can actually sell a physical product or service as well. You can do so much 
with you can host webinars you can do so much with click funnels that it, it's almost a no-brainer if you're looking to really grow and scale your business um, there will be a link in the description to get started with click funnels if that's something that you're interested in but I like it because they pay a 40% commission and it's reoccurring so as long as you have the customer they don't drop off or, or they don't um, they, they don't quit and, and find a different product or service you will continue to get paid 40% of the commission. So ClickFunnels is also a two tier affiliate program. Basically what that means, and I mentioned this a little bit earlier, is if you recommend someone and then they start recommending people to ClickFunnels, you actually get paid 5% of the people that they recommend. So just think about that. You're making money uh, super passively. That's a, a that's a term that I coined, super passive, because you're actually not doing any of the work and you have uh, someone that is bringing you 5% commission um, for as long as they have customers. So number one is ClickFunnels. Number two is Legendary Marketer. And the reason why I like Legendary Marketer is number one, I am legendary or a legendary marketer. I'm not sure what you would call our group, um, but they provide training courses to build an online business. Most people think and assume that a legendary marketer is just for affiliate marketing, but they actually have courses on creating your own course about creating masterminds, uh, digital products. They just really cover the entire gambit of uh, starting an online business. And I'll actually put a link in the description to Legendary Marketer. Again, most people assume that it's about, uh, it's a mar multi-level marketing scheme um, or that they're only in it for affiliate marketing, when in reality, there is much more to being a Legendary Marketer. Number three is Shopify. Now Shopify is the number one, the leading, the gold standard when it comes to drop shipping. Um, if you're not familiar with drop shipping, drop shipping basically is a, a regular person like you or me creates a site and they find customers in different niches and a customer will come and buy the product from you. You as the site owner will source the product from somewhere else and you, the, the product will get sent directly to the customer and you basically charge your markup and you make money that way. Now that's basically an overgeneralization of what Shopify is, but that is a good starting point. Now the reason why I like it as a high ticket affiliate program is it gives people an opportunity to start making money online. And number two, you actually can make up to $2,000 per person for referring them to one of their premium programs. So that's actually a very good amount of money for recommending people and showing them how they can start an online business. So that was Shopify. Number three is Kinsta. Uh, I probably mispronounced that, but Kinsta is a premium web hosting company. It's actually supported. Their back end is by Google. Now, the reason why I like it is because they actually will manage your WordPress site for you. And basically what that means is they'll make sure that all your plugins stay up to date. They'll actually provide a little bit of a firewall or a barrier so that you aren't hacked. They just do a lot for you uh, so that you can just worry about creating awesome content. Now, the reason why I like it is they pay a very high commission, $300 for every referral and 10% monthly commissions. And this is great for small business, small to medium sized businesses that are uh, have a huge presence online. So that is the next one. The next one is SimRush, that's S-E-M-R-U-S-H. Basically, Sim SimRush provides SEO information. You can spy on your competitors' websites, domain information, traffic, all of that good stuff. Now, the reason why I like it is because, again, if you have a web presence and you have competitors, which everyone does, you can actually spy and see what their keywords are, what they rank for, and you can go out and take that competition. They pay a high commission, and you can actually use their service to grow your business. After that is Organifi. Now Organifi is one of the few actual products. All, most of the other ones that are listed are software as a service, so software. But Organifi is a food supplement that pays a high affiliate commission. After that is ClickBank. Now the reason why I listed ClickBank as a whole and not actually the individual products, because there are a number of products that pay you a commission of $300, $400, dollars whereas there are a number of products that pay you like $10, $15 as well. But you have to kind of sift through. And the reason why I like ClickBank is it's one of the oldest affiliate networks out there. There are just an array of products and services that you can recommend. And you can recommend a multitude of products and services and kind of piece together your, your affiliate income. So that was a ClickFunnels. After ClickFunnels is Amazon Associates. Now I'm sure you're surprised 
the, to see Amazon Associates because they actually pay a very low commission between four and 10% depending on the product or service that they're recommending. But the reason why I put Amazon Associates on this list is because if you find products that are over a thousand dollars, you can still make pretty good money. For example, I use the tiny houses example before those tiny houses, I believe go for like eight grand, 10 grand, 15 grand, and you can make $1,500 per sale. Now, tiny houses are kind of the in thing currently, so who knows what that's going to look like in 10 or 15 years. But another benefit of Amazon is you can kind of stack your affiliate commissions. So when you think about a tiny house, they need tiny carpets, tiny drapes, uh, maybe a tiny iron. There's gonna be a whole lot of stuff that they need to furnish their house. And so you can easily stack commission on top of that and make pretty good money. After Amazon is Sandals Resorts. Now Sandals Resorts is a vacationing resort company that has vacation spots all around the world. And the reason why I added Sandals to this top 10 list is they have a 60 day cookie window and the earnings per click, the EPC is $137.99. That is pretty good. Most likely people are going to buy very premium high end packages and it's gonna go well over $150, $200. So that is Sandals Resorts. Finally, the my 10th is WP Engine. WP Engine is another software as a service. It is another managed web hosting company. And the reason why they are on this list is because they pay $200 minimum commission and they offer a 180 day cookie window. Do you wanna learn how to start and grow an online business? If the answer is yes, click the first link in the description to learn my number one recommended way for starting and growing an online business. Also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.